everybody it's michelle here with angel souls and this is our daily whoa inspiration card or two we've got two of them here <laughs> that fell out of the deck if you would like a personal reading with me all the information is in the description box below and i do have two lives coming up again all that info is in the description box one is a spiritual hangout where we talk about current events and the and the energy behind that and also archangel metatron Okay, so the first one out here is Seven of Raphael. This so feels like we don't know what's real anymore. This is that kind of thing. We do have Mercury retrograde coming up. So you might have someone, yeah, you might have someone from the past coming back or a situation coming back or an old pattern that's making itself known again. And you just don't know what's true. So this is Raphael, Seven of Raphael, healing your heart through clarity but you can work with michael to help you see through what are the illusions what it, what is just a fantasy what is real what would actually make me happy as opposed to what i've always been told should make me happy okay this is that kind of thing where people you know big big thing out there is you need to have a spouse and a family well as a single person who doesn't have that, I would tell you my life isn't bad. As a matter of fact, I'm sitting back looking at everybody else having problems. <laughs> so like, <laughs> I don't know, just gonna lay that down. So people are starting to wake up and realize, okay, I've been kind of pushed in a direction I didn't wanna be in, right? Or if you do have um, an audience, for example, and they think they have a lot of control over you and maybe you wanna move on to something else, but they're telling you, no, I want, I see this all the time with creators. You know, this whole like threatening tone in the comments of you better not move on to different content because I'll unsubscribe and, you know, those ways are falling down. So here are, here's the card. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification. There's that. Pointing out the toxicity and saying, why are we doing this? Why are we allowing others to tell us how our day is going to go, right? Even if it's somebody who's in a bad mood and they're trying to drag you down with them. Five of Gabriel, a challenge you can resolve. You are more powerful than you realize. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. Now, when we say disconnect from the drama of others, again, please do not go down this road of someone who's just being authentic and, and they've really gone through something and they're just talking about it and you're like, you're being so negative. Covert narcissist. I said it. Covert narcissist. Try me in the comments. I got a clown emoji for you. Boom. Okay, I ain't taking no kind of crap anymore. <laughs> a challenge you can resolve. So this is uh, stepping out of a way you thought you had to approach things. And you're realizing, I don't have to. Uh, in the, I think it was in the weekly and one of the dailies before I was given the whole story about this apartment that I live in. You can go check those out. But uh, yesterday, I go down to the communal area and one of the residents had taken over the entire pool area to have a party. And you're not allowed to do that. So we're down there. We're just trying to like find some space. And uh, I was thinking, my finger's shaking. I wonder why. What's going on with my hand? Yikes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but I came around the corner and I saw that there was in fact part of the management team that was still in the office. And I was like, now how is it? I had this thought. I'm like, how is it? I can't get away with nothing. <laughs> But dang it, other people can come in here and just do whatever and get away with whatever. But this was one of those moments, you know, it's those surface level things that kind of made me, I started to feel guilty. And I'm like, well, that's not fair to judge somebody for having a pool party and, and taking up the communal space for their own um, thing. And then I was like, no, screw that. No, that was BS. That's entitlement. I'm paying for their party. I, I, wanted, I wanted to be there in the sun. <laughs> like, dang it. So it's kind of, that kind of thing. When you know, like, your first reaction might be, hey, that's not cool, right? And then there's this societal thing or, like, the fact that the management was okay with it started getting me second-guessing myself. See where you're starting to let other people make you second-guess. Just because they're allowing it, they're probably, well, I know they're just as toxic as the people that were out there thinking they had a right to take over everything but um don't allow yourself to go down that road of that struggle of people i have to work around others you want to compromise you want to be a fair decent human being of course but you don't have to give in to the nonsense you feel me okay i don't know if that made any sense we're gonna leave it there <laughs> i'm sending you out so much love and take care